What's going on guys? Here's me with another video. Um, today I'm going to talk about games I've beat in the summer season. Um, I've played through quite a couple games this summer. I'm um, having a little bit more time on my hands, working third shift and you know sleeping during the day and then waking up early in the day with nobody being home. I have more time to play games and get through more games uninterrupted. But let's get into this video. The first game that I'm talking about that I beat, um, I've been playing it for years and I finally just sat down and played through and actually beat it is for the Genesis and that is Shining Force. Great RPG, it's kind of on the short side if you know you do what you're supposed to but you know this is a good game. The second game, it's it should be a short game that I beat this one but it's not because a lot of you have to do a lot of grinding in this bitch and that is Dragon Warrior 1. Well, Dragon Quest one. Um, that game, you know, is a lot of grinding. And you have to grind a lot just to do what you're supposed to do. Um, a buddy of mine, I told a buddy of mine that I beat it. He was surprised because it was NES version, and they made a Game Boy Color one, and I didn't know that, which is easier. So it could have saved me a lot of time and headaches and yelling and screaming but it's still a fun game the next game is actually a series i beat the whole series or something because i just love the game so much and it's the second time i beat, played through this well art the lad the collection which is one two and three great game storyline is awesome and like i said i like playing them in order so i just play i just play it straight through them the next game i played and I beat was, I'm a fan of this game, it's anime, well, anime and manga. And that is Fist of the North Star, Ken's Rage. It's a Dynasty Warrior clone. If you're not a fan of the anime, I suggest you don't pick it up because it's really repetitive. The next game is the sequel to that, which is Ken's Rage 2. This one, it actually expands on the first one it's actually the same damn game just that it goes a little further it goes further than when the first one ended that's it if anything i'd recommend getting the second one not the first one it's better you know the fighting's a little faster and everything so if anything get the get the second one next game is sleeping dogs i got this game pretty late the story is great. I loved everything about it. I love Asian culture, so this is just a no-brainer. And I, it actually was supposed to be part of the true crime series, and I prefer true crime over Grand Theft Auto, so it, it was a no-brainer. Next game um, I beat is uh, Super Mario Brothers Wii. It's a fun game. It's better if you have friends to play with, but out here, you know, I'm not from here, so I don't have many buddies to have come over and play it. So I played it by myself, and it's still pretty fun. Next game is a fun game. I actually really, really, really enjoyed this game, and this is Dragon Quest II. The storyline is pretty good. Um, so the fight mechanics and everything, just the, everything else about the game is just awesome. People tell me that the storyline from the first one is better, but the mechanics from the second one is better. So I hope with this new one, which I'm getting, Inquisition, that is a combination of, you know, the storyline from the second one. I mean, storyline. So the storyline from the first one and the combat from the second one, and they merge it together and just, they shouldn't mess, they shouldn't mess this next one up. The next game I played, um, I've beat it before. But I had to play through it again because I originally got it back. And that is Resident Evil Zero. Um, this kind of started the, the partner system, you know, the partner system with, you know, five and six and stuff like that. And um, I actually like this better because it's more survival horror. But, you know, that's me. Some people might like the action adventure art, Resident Evil Zero. Me personally, I don't. The next game I beat, which is part of a series, I'm a big, 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 big fan of the series. And this is the Yakuza. Well, it's the Yakuza 1. Um, I don't want to talk too much about this game, but it's pretty much about a guy named Kazuma Kiryu, who is a Yakuza. He 
takes the fall for a friend that murders somebody else and he gets out of jail and it's just a bunch of turmoil and money missing and a lot of a lot of plot twists and everything it's a great game and like i said i'm gonna do a review and i'm gonna talk about the whole series and get more in depth and then i also beat yakuza 2 um pretty hard to find game i had three and four before i had one and two but i didn't play three and four i had three and four for two years before i even cracked them open so i want to be get one and two and beat those first but um, I beat part one, and then I had to wait to get part two because it's hard to find. And when I finally got it, it's great, and I sped right through it. The third, Yakuza 3, I beat this too. It's um, the worst one in the series to me as far as storyline goes because it takes a while to really get good. Um, but other than that, it's a good game. It kind of pissed me off because he, the, the main character, he took over his orphanage and shit like that. And you're dealing with a lot of the kids and their problems. I don't give a, I, I don't want to give a damn luck. I want to beat up gang members. So that was a little frustrating to me. So, yeah, still a good game. And then Yakuza 4. This is the last game in the main series that came out in America. Um, This one, it took this... You play as four characters. The main character from the first three. And then a lone shark. Um, a prisoner who went to jail for doing 18 murders. And come to find out he was set up. He didn't really do the murders, but he thought he did. Yeah. Great game. And then there's a crooked cop. Who's not really crooked, but he is crooked. He does crooked stuff, but it's for good reason. Yeah. Play, play the series. I'm going to do a review, but... If you get the series, if you can get the series, get it. I'm importing a fifth one. It's you know, in Japanese, but I'll be fine. I, I can play through it. I can decipher enough about it. The first one is actually in English, and the second one is you no know, Japanese and then English subtitles. And since I I understand Japanese, you know, I understand I, a little bit enough of it because you no, know, I took it and you know, I'm rusty, but I'm brushing up on it. Some of the translations was kind of screwed up but mm, uh, that's, you know, that's neither here or there the next game I beat was Uncharted oops drop it um great <laughs> great game great series actually um that one is my least favorite but you know still a good game the next one is my favorite actually is Uncharted 2 great game um, like I said, it's better than the, the first, but great nonetheless. And then the second, I mean, second, the next one is a Charted 3. Also a great game. Great series. And I ran through these. And I ran through the whole Charted series in about two weeks. I ran through the Yakuza series. Well, who rephrase that? I ran through the first one in about two weeks. I ran through two, three, and four in a week. Yeah, when I love a game and I, I love the story and everything, I can I'll, I'll play it till I can't play it no more until I beat it. And the Yakuza series is kind of short because all that side mission shit, I, I don't care about it. I'll just play through it. And Uncharted is pretty short too. And the last game I beat is a pretty easy game, but I love it nonetheless. Parappa the Rapper Two. Um, it's not as good as the set, the first one, but it's still a good game. I still recommend you to pick it up if you could. But if not, hey. But uh, these are the games I've beaten over the summer season. Um, I'm gonna make another one, like probably around Christmas time, about the games that I've beaten through the winter season or through the holiday season. Um, that'll be a, another one a couple months to look forward to. But that's it, you know, the games I've beaten this summer. And uh, I'll be back in about a week with another video. Peace.